Hello everyone, it's Richardson again here and in the previous videos we have been getting an idea about what is molecular docking and we also demonstrated the molecular docking using the NQL online server. So today in this video we will discuss and demonstrate the binding properties of the protein and ligand of the docked molecule which we have it. So the first thing which you have to do is that you go to the MQL server and you can click the one click docking history. Okay, so you have that page and you have the download post of the docked molecule which we have already and you find the PDB format getting downloaded. It's one of the way to get the download or you can go to the protein data bank and get your desired docked molecule and click download files and download the PDB format. So you get the PDB format or you have the saved file in your uh, document. You can also have that PDB format. Now go to proteins.plus online server. Just drag and put that into the choose file, the PDB file and click go. Yeah, so here you can find your uh, protein, the docked molecule in this black screen and you have many options available over here. So you can uh, zoom in, zoom out and you have the surface, you can on it and you get some uh, the surface of the protein which we saw earlier and also you can change the color, here I give the green color, you can uh, give what color you want and you can see the ligand which has been binded to the protein over here. See you can also reduce the opacity in order to view all the ribbon like structures of the protein and you can find the ligand which is attached over here and the ligand is a peptide chain. You have all the amino acids over there and you click on the post view a 2D interaction diagram. So here you can find the binding nature of the protein and the ligand. So you just copy the ligand ID. There you have it the peptide uh, ligand and you just paste it and click calculate and wait for some time. So your calculation is in progress. Yeah, so here you can find the result of your uh, binding property. See, the post view automatically creates two dimensional diagrams of complexes with known 3D structures according to the chemical drawing convention. So, here you can find the uh, ligand and protein interaction. You have a dotted, you see, you have the dotted bonds over here, and see, you can find all the hydrogen bonds, right? hydrogen bonds, the van der Waals interaction, the hydrophobic interactions and everything uh, you can find between the ligand and the target. So you can download it also. I'll go back and I click on duo site scorer. It is a binding site detection. Okay, here you get the details about the binding site. Set the properties what you want and click calculate and your calculation is in progress. Yeah, so you have the result over here and you can see the I button over there. You can just click on or off. So here you can find your uh, ligand. So you have P0123, right? So you can just make some alterations and you can view all the different areas where your ligand can be. So it will show the perfect optimum position where actually your ligand should be. So from these data, we can analyze which would be the perfect position. So now uh, we'll get some additional information for that. You click there and you find you get all the data about the shape and size. You have the volume and you have the surface and many parameters are listed here detailed. Your functional group descriptor, the hydrogen bonds, the hydrophobic interactions, you have totally 41 and you can find more. And let's analyze the other pores of the ligand. So if you click here, you see the volume is 314, whereas in the above you see it is 407. It has occupied a large binding site, but here it has occupied a little, it has decreased. So that is the better choice, right? And you see the hydrophobic interaction is 29 here and there you find it is only 
uh, it is 41 so it's more there so the first uh, pose has all possible orientations and here you see uh, it is decreasing it's keep on decreasing as you go and go see for other things and same the volume is decreasing hydrophobic interactions are decreased hydrogen bonds have decreased and everything keeps on decreasing so the first pose which has been uh, compiled is correct then you click the hydrogen prediction the protos and you just click calculate you can predict the automated hydrogens okay in this particular protein in this protein ligand complex yeah, so I have compiled and see the eye icon, I just click it, see you can find the, the change over there, the hydrogen atoms are displayed, so with this you can uh, get the idea of doing the protein ligand binding, okay, so you can do or download any PDB file or create your PDB file and uh, use this protein dot plus and you can get the data, thank you.